The Node-RED app is the Rexroth adaptation of Node-RED, a browser-based graphical development tool used to process input data sequentially using a series of nodes that are wired together to create flows. Node-RED can be used to create flows for data processing and for creating dashboards for viewing through its integrated web server. This makes the Node-RED app an integrated development environment and user interface in one, all running natively on the Control-X core without the need for external software. Public libraries of nodes called palettes are available for various functions and nodes can be individually developed using JavaScript. The Rexroth version provides nodes for direct connection to the data layer on the Control-X core. Here's a demonstration of the Node-RED app. Okay, what I'm going to show you today on the core is how to um, subscribe to some simple data on the core and the data layer. And we're going to write that data and you'll be able to see that uh, occur in Node-RED in the debug pane. So to begin that, I'm going to go to the left panel uh, from the main screen on the Control-X core. Uh, and you'll see a Node-RED tab here. The app is already installed. And you see two options here, the flow editor and the dashboard. The dashboard is what you're going to use to visualize elements of Node-RED. Uh, for our purposes today, we're just going to use the flow editor. Okay, so what we want to do first is subscribe to a piece of uh, data from the core at some interval. So what I want to start with is this data layer request. Open this up. I can select the device that I'm going to read data from. And I can add a new Control-X device. Let's select this little pin. Uh, the local host, this is the core itself, the username. Type in the username. It's just to be the same username as your uh, login for the core, and you can call it something. So we'll call this core. Okay, so now I have a device here, core. I can select the method I want to use, which is read. This little magnifying glass is going to allow me to navigate to the data I want to look at. So for my purposes of demonstration today, I'm going to look at the PLC. The app, the application, the symbol file, motion program, and a variable called R jog velocity. Uh, now, what I'd like to do is see that over here in the debug pane on the far right. Um, so, I'm going to look for this top left search column, look for the debug node, drag that in, and just link these two together. If I open up this debug node, I can select what I'd like to see. And I just want to see the payload, which is going to be the value coming back from the, the subscribe node. The next thing I want to do is inject some data. So this is going to kick off the reading of the jog velocity. So we'll tie this to the jog velocity reading node. And I'm just going to inject a timestamp at um, whenever I click the button. So you can set up an interval at which you want to inject the data. I'm just going to have it where when I click this button it'll read. Um, so when I'm done with that I can deploy. And so now every time I click this button we'll read the current value for our jog velocity. So the next thing I want to do is write that velocity. Um, and I have two example nodes here. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate those um, and I'm going to do it in a way that we can uh, switch between both of uh, this node and the net node I'm going to create and see the change here in the debug pane. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is do another data layer request. I'm going to select the core as my device. The method will be right. Path will be PLC, app, application, symbol motion program and jog velocity. And here I want to select value and type for the payload. So it looks like that didn't get selected so I'm just going to run through that again. Application, symbol, motion program, jog velocity, done. Okay. And for this inject node, I, I can basically copy what I have here for this inject node, and I'll show you what's inside of this. Um, I have a payload 
um, and I'm saying that the type of data I'm going to write is a float and the value is the value 25. So in the other node, the value is 25. Here I'm going to change it to 50.3, just for fun. And I'll link these two together. And now I can deploy those nodes. And you see they all authenticate. If I read the timestamp here, set to 50 currently. If I click this top inject, it should inject 25. And then if I read it again, it is in fact 25. And if I click this bottom inject, it should inject 50.3. So if we read it back, 50.3.